Good day collectors and viewers, Social Distance Warrior is back and today we're going to look at Luke Skywalker in his Hoth outfit from Empire Strikes Back. So Luke Skywalker of course made his debut back in A New Hope in 1977 and we followed his adventures from there and we'd have to wait three long years till 1980 and the Empire Strikes Back to get a continued adventure of Luke Skywalker. So he made his debut right at the beginning of the movie there along with Han Solo. In Empire Strikes Back, we see him on Hoth, the planet Hoth, and of course he's dressed in the attire of the weather conditions on that planet. So uh, Luke Skywalker would make his action figure debut in 1981 on the Empire Strikes Back, a 45 card back, and that's this figure right over here. So this is the Luke Skywalker from the movie, and of course you see him, he's decked out in his uh, Hoth outfit. This is my original figure, so you can see he's been very well loved and played with. Um, he's got a nice sculpt. He's got his binoculars. He's got his goggles. He's got his head wrap on here, painted nicely in a different color. Uh, nice texture on his outfit as well here. You can have articulation right there at the head. Uh, at the arms, they move up and down. Uh, he's got his holster on the on the side of his leg here and his belt coming across. You can see a nice uh, different color vest here then his jacket of course and different color boots as well and uh, if we lift him up over here underneath you can see he's got pegs on the bottom there so you can display him in numerous play sets he's an interesting figure he came with a rifle he didn't actually come with um a lightsaber which is interesting i don't know if they intended maybe this figure to be a uh an army builder or a rebel soldier then at some point changed it to luke skywalker but that's the luke skywalker from empire strikes back uh, that's what he looks like from the side that's the original figure, and that's what he looks like from the back as well. And again, this is my original figure, and you know this one's dear to my heart as well. And I never got an updated version; I always kept this one because the way I acquired this figure, I had my grandmother visiting when I was small, and she was looking after us. And while I was in school one winter, she was out going for a walk. She used to go for strolls, and I came home, and she said, "I got a present for you." And I said, "What?" And she found. Luke Skywalker in his Hoth outfit. I couldn't believe it. I said, where did you find him? She said, I found him sitting lonely in the snow. And I figure you'd like him because you, I see you play with your toys and you have your action figures. And I said, I love him. And he was always dear to my heart and a favorite of mine growing up and a staple of my collection. So that's my little story there of Luke Skywalker in his Hoth outfit. And uh, we have only this iteration of Luke through the first three movies. And we'd have to wait a long, long time to get another version of them. So when it's Star Wars made its triumphant return in the 1990s with the Power of the Force 2 line, we'd have to wait a couple years, but on the Power of the Force 2 green card, we'd get Luke Skywalker in his Hoth outfit at last, and that's this figure over here. And of course, he's been updated to normal standards for the 90s at the time. He is a little bit bulky. He's a lot less bulky than the original figures were. And of course, they came with lightsaber this time, and he's got a translucent one there in blue and it's a smaller size than the original ones that initially came on the Power of the Force 2 line and he also comes with that DL44 blaster so let's take those accessories out of his hands just so we can see what the figure looks like okay and then Luke Skywalker you can see here uh, let's bring him up close so we can see a nice depiction of his head of his face there you can see it's that standard Luke sculpt that we had on the other figures as well so it's easily recognizable he's got his goggles on his helmet there and his scarf. Uh, he's got a nice jacket with insignia on here. Fully painted belt with the holster on here. Not a working holster, but a painted on holster there. Articulation wise, you can turn his head side to side. Okay, his arms go up and down. As was standard on the Power of the Force 2 figures, you can turn him at the waist as well. So side to side there. And of course, his legs come all the way up. And he, again, he's in one of those stances where it's more of a action pose stance, which a lot of the figures were with the Power of the Force 2 line, but that's what we got at the time. If we lift him up underneath, you can see he's got his foot pegs there, the year he was made as well. And that's what he looks like from the side. And you can see here on his wrist, he's got his communicator painted on there as well. Bring that up a little bit closer. And then from the back as well, and you can see the nice texture on his jacket and he's got the little collar coming up here around as well. And of course his boots with the strappings around them. A lot more realistic looking than initial that initial figure we got back in the 80s and that was our updated luke skywalker 
So the next time we'd see Luke would be one year later in 1998, also part of the Power of the Force 2 line, but this time uh, they had deluxe figures that came with some with vehicles, some with creatures. In this case, it was Luke with Tauntaun, and that's this figure over here. So it's an update to the one that we just looked at from the Power of the Force 2. Uh, you can see from the waist up, it's basically exactly the same figure. And then from the waist down, you'll notice he's a little bit different. So let's look at that. So he came with his DL-44 blaster. Um, Articulation-wise, standard, you know, at the head here. Um, and then at the arms, up and down, there as well. Uh, at the waist, you can turn him side to side. And if you notice here, down, his legs are in more of a wider stance because he rides that tauntaun. And he's got some articulation, which is amazing. So it's a completely different thing for the Luke articulation at the knees. So you can bend him there at the knees. And you can have him sitting on top of his tauntaun, riding it. So he's got that on both legs there. Uh, if we lift him up underneath here, you'll notice they don't have any foot pegs because he's intended to ride that tauntaun. So they skipped out on that. So that's what the figure looks like from the front up close. And we'll show you his head sculpt as well. And if we turn him to the side, you can see it's that same Luke Skywalker, just the different legs there on the bottom. And then, of course, on the back as well. Okay, and I'll bring him side by side with the other one as well, just so you can see what he looks like there. And you can see it's basically the same figure. Paint job's a little bit different. Color-wise, a little more glossy, this one. But again, from the waist down, he's a completely different figure than that original Power of the Force 2 release. So we get another Luke Skywalker figure because there was a couple creatures that came out. It was a little more difficult to acquire here in Canada. I had to get it from a special retailer. And they had one more version this time with the Wampa. So Luke came with the Wampa. And again, he's just an update of that Power of the Force 2 figure. So we get another a third Luke Skywalker. When well, we only had one from the 80s all the way up to the end of the 90s. And now we get a second version in 1998 and third one already in Power of the Force 2. So you'll notice when I bring this Luke up close, he's got scarring on his face. Let's just take his lightsaber out of his hand there for a second. You'll notice that he's got a scar. This is when he got attacked by the Wampa. And it captured him and put him in his cave. And you can see Luke's got a concerned look. And again, they started with a little more detail now on the Power of the Force 2 line. So that was a great thing too. Um, the different arms, brand new sculpted arms on here. And one is, you know, in an elongated stance. The other one's bent in. You'll see why that is in a second. Because there's actually a reason for that as well. Um, standard articulation on this guy. Arms, head... Okay, side to side, but not at the waist. So they took away the waist articulation. Uh, legs move up, okay? And if you notice under the legs, there are no pegs on this one either, okay? So that's what he looks like from the front. And then that's what he looks like from the side. And then that's what he looks like from the back. So you can see paint-wise, he's identical to the other ones as well in detail. Now he's got a nice little feature here as well. So you see his scarf up here. Instead of giving us articulation at the waist here, they give us articulation on the scarf. So you can do this, lift his scarf up. You see how his arm's in a, in a stance, like it's trying to reach out. So you put his arms up, and then we take Luke Skywalker and we flip him upside down. And now we have Luke Skywalker where he's battling the, the Wampa. So you can depict that scene, or you can have the Wampa holding him by the leg, whatever you want. I used to have the Wampa holding him by the leg in my scene. And then there's our Luke Skywalker, you know, standing upside down in horror, waking up in a cave, ice cave with a Wampa about to eat him. He's already eating his Tauntaun. So that was a nice added feature. And of course, I had to get him just for that reason, because, you know, sometimes characters are so scene specific. You'd like to have every version of them in Star Wars figures are super detailed in that respect. So we wouldn't get another Luke Skywalker figure for another six years. So we jumped from 1998 all the way to 2004. And this time as part of the Star Wars saga line. So they merged all the lines together once the prequel movies came out. And we had prequel and original trilogy coming out on the same card back to make it less confusing. And we finally get a brand new Luke Skywalker and Hoth outfit. So that's this figure over here. Let's bring him forward. And you can see realism wise or realistic wise is a lot more detailed. Than the previous one, they've gone away from the bulkiness of the characters and they've made them a lot more realistic. But still at the time, uh, size-wise, scale-wise, they're not all the same figure to figure. This one seems a little bit tall, 
but a nice improvement. So you'll start noticing certain things on this character. Uh, they've kept that shell where you can lift it up. If we bring him in close, you can see this Luke does have the scar on the face as well. So he's got the scarred face. He doesn't have the goggles on. That's what he looks like. Scar when we can put that scarf back down. He does have articulation at the head there, side to side. And then he has a little more articulation on the head where you can tilt it back as well. Isn't that neat? We'll see why that is in a second as well. Uh, at the arms here, you'll see there's ball joints at the shoulders. So that's a new thing for Star Wars action figures, and you have that there as well. And of course, nothing here at the elbows or at the wrist, but that are added articulation. And again, his arm in that reach out pose to hold his lightsaber. Um, if we move down over here, you can see the detailing on his chest plate there. Yeah, he's got his belt on and his holster. It's not a working holster, but there's a lot more detail. They put, you know, a little space in between their loop to show that it's a little more detailed. And of course, from the from the waist, we can turn him side to side. Uh, from the waist down, you can lift his legs up. He's a little bit impeded by his jacket there, but you can turn them up. There's no articulation at the knees on this guy. But if I put his arm down, it's going to show you something here. We lift him up. You can see he's got his foot pegs underneath. So he does have that detail there as well. And then this is what he looks like from the side. So you can see a nice detail on the head sculpt there on his arm. He's got his communicator there on his wrist as well. Lots of detail on his boots. And then that's what he looks like from the back as well. So that's our Luke Skywalker. You do see that part of articulation there on his head where you can move it back so it kind of stands out a little bit on the back there but there was a reason for that action feature because this guy as well you could turn him upside down just like the previous figure tilt his head back flip him up let's put his arms down and we can have luke reaching for his life for his lightsaber as well and he did come with an added accessory as well so i'm going to show you how that works with both of them and he came with the top part of the Wampa cave here so you can put his feet right inside there and we'll show you how that works and you can have him dangle upside down inside the cave to fight his Wampa so that's the loop that we got as part of the Star Wars Saga collection and I'll show you what he looks like when that's attached with the base as well and here's the Star Wars Saga Hoth Attack Luke on the display so he came with the base and then the top base and then the bottom base here came with the Wampa. So you can see there's a spot there for his lightsaber right there on the floor. We can just pull that out to show you how awesome is that. So when Luke channels the force, he can pull his lightsaber out and get that Wampa. So that's what he looks like on there. And you can see how awesome the, the display looks when you put the Wampa together with him as well. So we'd have to wait eight long years for another version, an ultimate version of Luke Skywalker in his Hoth outfit. So we jumped to 2012 and Hasbro announced that they're going to make a new version of Luke Skywalker on his Hoth Empire Strikes Back card. So we finally get Luke Skywalker. I have him carded over here. Depicted on that original card back for anybody who likes to see that. And of course, as you may know by watching the video, he's dear to my heart, this action figure. And he came fully loaded. He's got a lightsaber. He's got an unlit lightsaber hilt. He does have his blaster in his hand there as well. And of course, he came with his headpiece with the scarf there. And you can see the Empire Strikes Back card back. And it says Luke Skywalker Hoth outfit. And then there's a the nice picture of him riding the Tauntaun. Uh, this figure is fully articulated as well. So we're going to look at that in a sec. Let's just turn that to the side to show you what it looks like there. And then that's him from the front. And we turn that over to the back. And we can see here on the back the other figures that came out in the same wave. Darth Malgus and Anakin from Clone Wars and Imperial Navy Commander and that Darth Vader. And then some other figures underneath here as well as some vehicles released on the vintage card back, the uh, cards as well. So he's VC number 95 in case you were curious. So that's the Luke Skywalker. We're going to look at him loose right now. So my loose version of him is the more recent one that's got the real scan technology on the face. So we'll look at a comparison between the two of them, but that's him right here. So Luke Skywalker finally completed in fully articulated form. So he comes with his own lightsaber. Uh, you can see his head's on a ball. So that was the, the norm again with the figures at the time. Uh, this piece here on his hood is a separate piece sitting there. He's got a ball there at the shoulder so you can lift him. His arm is right up. Uh, he has it at the elbow as well finally, which is great. And he's got his hand in a 
stance like he's going to fire his weapon, but that's articulation there at the wrist as well. So fully there, he does have articulation there at the chest slash waist, so you can move him back, forth, up and down. Uh, working holster this time, which is awesome. Finally, we get that with Luke Skywalker, and I have his gun inside there. Let's just pull it out to show you. So he's got a fully functioning blaster pistol inside there that's nice and detailed. So that sits in his holster. And if we work our way down, you know, his jacket here, he does have ball joints at his legs, so you can sit him on a tauntaun. So he's got that full articulation there. And of course, at the knee as well, you can bend him at the knee. I'll just put that leg back there, show you. Okay, and then of course, at the ankle, he's got some articulation there as well. So that's what Luke looks like from the front. Uh, I do have his lightsaber sitting on his waist here. There's a little peg hole that attaches that where you can have it lit or unlit, and I have both of them on there. That's how I have them displayed right now. Uh, underneath, he's got foot pegs right at the front of his feet there. That's what he looks like from the front. We turn him around to the side here. There he is, and you can see that his communicator is nicely painted there on his wrist as well. And his nice paint detail on his body. He's not misproportioned or anything. And there's his shell. Turn him around to the back, and that's what he looks like from the back. And you can see they did the paint detail running all the way to the back of this figure. Now, he does come with an added accessory as well. He does have an, a shawl that you can put over his face. But let's bring him up nice and close just to show you that real scan technology and how much of that has improved over the years as well on Luke. And you can see it's a nice sculpt of his face. Considering it's an older figure, they did the real scan on it. This one turned out really well. I'm really happy with it. No matter which way I look at it, it looks like Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker, considering it's only a three three quarter inch action figure. So here he is with the shawl on as well, so that head pops off because it's on a ball, and you can put the shawl up over his face and have him riding his tauntaun. Now it's not perfectly centered over his face, but it does the trick. It's a nice little added accessory with the figure to depict him a little bit differently, and also if you're army building and wanted to have a few of these guys in the Hoth base, you could just put that shawl on and pretend it's a totally different character as well. So that's our Luke Skywalker from the Vintage Collection. Let's put him back over here. So next Luke Skywalker we'd get would be in 2014 as part of the Black Series. So they made a three three quarter inch line of Black Series figures initially as well as the six inch ones. And that Luke Skywalker that came in, the hot Luke Skywalker that came in that wave is my favorite to date. I love the entire paint job with the character. So it's basically the exact same character we just looked at. Except they've repainted his vest and they've given him a brand new head sculpt. So I can just bring that a little bit closer. You can see the goggles are sculpted right on top of the helmet there and he's got his shell sitting over the other one didn't have that uh, and you can see on his face here if we bring him up a little bit closer you can see he does have the scar from his battle with the wampa so he's battle scarred there as well other than that exactly the same articulation but brand new paint job they made it a nice darker brown the vest piece over here uh, i do have his gun sitting there on his holster and you can see what he looks like from the waist down as well. So it's exactly the same figure, but with a brand new head and new paint job. And actually, I prefer this one to the other one. It's more in line with how I depicted him from that original figure. And we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison with this one and the Vintage Collection one as well. So here are the two Lukes side-by-side. -side. The one over here is the Vintage Collection on my left. And the one on my right here is the Black Series one. And you can see head sculpt-wise that there are different helmets, the different heads, and of course the paint job on the vest in particular is different on the Black Series one than it is from the Vintage Collection one. So that's the comparison of them it's side by side so you can see them depicted there, whether it's worthwhile for you to pick up one or the other or both. So of course Disney purchased Star Wars and then Rebels was one of the first um, new Star Wars media that they released before the sequel trilogy. And uh, they didn't make Rebels line of figures. And with the Rebels line of figures, they made original original trilogy figures as well. And Luke in the hot outfit was one of them. He came in a Mission Series 2-pack with Han Solo. That's this figure over here. I have him to show you. So standard five points of articulation. He's not a updated sculpt like the ones we currently have. Uh, the paint job's nice. The sculpt is nice on the character. Um, the paint on the face, in particular the eyes, leaves more to be desired on this guy, but it is a worth 
mentioning. It's a brand new figure. Your articulation, you can turn his head side to side. Arms up and down. Uh, nothing at the waist, so you know. Legs go up. Got foot pegs underneath there. And I'll bring up his face sculpt a little close to show you what I'm talking about. So not the greatest paint job on this figure. And then that's what he looks like from the side. And then that's what he looks like from the back. So that was a two-pack with Han Solo that he came with. We'll put him back over there. And the next figure we get from Luke Skywalker in his Hoth outfit would be in 2018. So part of the figures that came out with the Solo line, they made, again, some deluxe figures. They made a Darth Vader that came with a, an Imperial probe droid. And they made a Luke Skywalker in Hoth outfit that came with a super articulated Wampa, which is a nice addition. And again, it was a brand new Luke. That's this guy over here. And they stuck with the five points of articulation on the figure, but his accessory, which would be the Wampod, he was fully articulated. So that's our new sculpt of Luke. And just like the Leia that they made at the time, she came out as a single card release on the part of the solo line. She was a really nice sculpt. And this is a really nice sculpt. I mean, he can't do much because he can only, you know, stand and you can't do any articulation changing on him. But He's a nice depiction of Luke Skywalker. He does have a working holster, which is nice. So we move that over here to the side, and you can see that you can take his blaster pistol out and put it back in. And he's painted decently. He's painted nice there as well. And you can see his boots. Underneath, he does have his peg, the peg holes. Uh, articulation at the waist, he doesn't have anything there. From the side here, this was an interesting one. They didn't paint that communicator on his wrist. It's there. It's sculpted there, but not painted. So that was omitted or left out. And that's what his head looks like from the side. And then that's what he looks like from the back. And of course, that was in 2018. That came with the Wampa, Luke Skywalker. So that would be the newest rendition we get of him. And of course, he'd come back out in as a real release as part of the vintage collection in 2021 um, with the photo real technology. So it's the loose figure that we looked at, but we'll bring forward the original. Luke Skywalker, and then the updated photo reel one. We'll put them side by side as a comparison, just so you can have a look at the two of them. There, here's a close up of them, face sculpt wise, so you can see what the original one looked like, which wasn't too bad, and then the new one, which is a lot more detailed, particularly on the face and on the eyes. So that's the Luke Skywalker from the Vintage Collection. Okay, and here he is saddled up. On the vintage collection tauntaun that's the black series three three quarter inch luke skywalker you can see his feet fit right on the saddle there there's little slots for them and this is three three quarter inch form so this is a beauty to look at display in your collection you can see what it looks like side to side but that's it in a nutshell it's our luke skywalker in hoth outfit and in 2015 we get luke skywalker in a deluxe pack with the Wampa in his Hoth outfit. So that's this figure over here. And of course, he's a very nice sculpt. We'll bring him in close. You can see that he does have his battle scar on his face there. Uh, his scarf here is a, is a cloth material. So that can sit down or up, depending on how you have him posed. Heads on a ball, so standard Black Series articulation there. Uh, we bring him up close a little bit. You can see the face sculpt is a little bit dated compared to today's standards, but that's the figure that we got with it, and it's a brand new sculpt of Luke, and I just want to move his arms out just to show you articulation there. He does have a ball there at the shoulder. Uh, he can bend him there at the elbows. Wrist articulation here as well. Okay, you can see his jacket's fully painted. He does have his insignia on there. He does have a working holster as well with his DL44 in there, the strap sitting over it, which was common stuff there for the Black Series line. Uh, balls at the hips there for his legs. You can also turn them here at the waist. You can bend them at the knees and then at the ankles. So full articulation like we expected from our Black Series figures. He's got a nice little hook here on his belt as well, bringing him close so he can attach his lightsaber there if you wanted to have it off the hilt and unlit. Um, that's what he looks like from the front. Let's bring him back. And that's what he looks like from the side. And then that's what he looks like from the back. You can see he's fully painted all the way around. So that's the Luke Skywalker that came with the Wampa. And of course, they had improved their technology a lot with the Black Series line. 
the six inch line. They start that face scan technology and that would translate down to the three three quarter inch figures as well. And then they would update some of these figures. So rather than making a new figure for anybody that missed out or passed on this figure because they didn't like the sculpt, they made an archive line. And I do have that version of Hoth Luke as well. We'll bring them forward here. And then they fixed up the face sculpt to bring them to a little more accurate standards. Now, it's not the greatest paint job, but it's a lot better than that previous one, particularly on the eyes. He's got nice blue eyes. The paint job on the rest of the body is the same, but if I put them side by side, you can see he's been improved dramatically just by that face sculpt. So particularly the eyes and the lips, and you can see Luke is a lot more realistic on that archive line. And you can probably still pick this one up. He is still available. So if you were missing Luke or you're kind of debating whether I should or shouldn't get him and you do want to get him right now, that's the version that you get would be the archive one here. So that's my review of Luke Skywalker and his Hoth outfit. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the review. I, again, I enjoy doing these reviews. I want to keep doing them. I like to keep sharing my passion with you guys in my Star Wars collecting. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Please like and subscribe and take care. Stay safe.